number one, you, you can't compare them to the two we lost. I was on a draft show with ACC Network a couple of days ago, and I'm watching those guys run. And I said, oh, God, they're really good. Um, but hopefully uh, some of the um, unbelievable yards and scores that we put up last year had to do with our offense and with Sam and, and spreading the ball around, and, and there's going to be creases for those running backs. Um, I, I was pleased that we're, we're definitely better on defense today because we're, we can put more guys out there and, and not look bad. When we first got here, we, we might could put seven, eight out there that were really good with some others, but you really didn't have any backups. And, and now we've got guys that we can rotate and put in there. Uh, but I, I, uh, I'm really, really impressed with, with Ty Chandler as a person, a leader, he's fit in, he's made the transition well. I saw him in the dressing room. I don't think he knows the fight song yet because uh, he was struggling with it a little bit. And I'm, so I'm going to help him learn the fight song. Uh, that's going to be fun as, as we, we get ready uh, to get him going. These guys are going to have to help him step up. But he's fast. He's strong. Uh, he runs. He made one cut. It was a five- or seven-yard run, but he made one cut back inside, and he slashed today, and he, he did really well. Um, DJ Jones has had an outstanding spring. He didn't have a lot of opportunities. It didn't look like today. Uh, same with uh, uh, Elijah Green. He made some runs. Uh, I thought there were two or three really impressive cuts with uh, Caleb Hood. And, and he bounced outside with some speed a couple of times, but he made a couple of cuts against good defensive players and lowered his shoulders. There, there was one third down and four where he makes eight. And I thought there were about three there. Uh, so that, that's going to be really fun to watch him because every snap he takes is from, from his transition from quarterback to running back, he's going to get better. Uh, I compare him to the Chaz Surratt uh, experiment. Uh, every day Chaz plays, he's, he's better. And whoever takes Chaz next week, he'll be better this next fall than he, than he was last fall. And then uh, I did think Josh Henderson uh, again today made a couple of really good cuts against some good defensive players and, and kept his pads going forward. So, um, British has been here a long time, and he's our special teams guy, but he's a good power runner. And then you've got uh, Kamara Edmonds coming in in the fall. So uh, Coach Porter and I have our hands full um, trying to figure out how we uh, like the backup quarterbacks. How do we get that room separated? I, I say this every week, but that, that should help us some today uh, because we can't uh, practice six backs. Uh, we're going to have to get it down to, to three probably when we come back to get started in the fall. But it's a good problem because they're all good. I, th I feel like our backs are special. Um, being with having Mike and Javante last year and uh, having those guys uh, mentor uh, the guys we have now, uh, I think Ty Chandler is a great addition to the, the, the running back room. Uh, he brings a lot of speed, a lot of quickness, a lot of uh, a great uh, burst when he's getting through the hole. And then we have guys like British Brooks and Josh Henderson who uh, are, are kind of balanced. They have great deal of speed and can also lower their shoulder. Um, and uh, DJ Jones, uh, DJ Jones can fly. So I think in, in my opinion, uh, they're the best running back room in the nation. And they show that every single practice. And, I, and, and I'm grateful to be going against running backs like them every single practice because I feel like it makes me so much better at my position. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm more confident in what I do on the field because I know DJ Jones is going to give me the best look I get. I know Ty Chandler is going to give me everything he's got and British Brooks and Josh Henderson and along with uh, EG and Caleb Hood. So, you know, I'm, I'm really proud of the work that Coach Porter has put in with those guys and I, I'm excited to see those boys play all the way. I think we're really pleased coming out of our 15 practices with what we have in that room. I mean, you know, we were kind of unsure. What, what that room is going to look like going into spring ball. Um, just because, you know, we, we've seen what Ty Chandler did at Tennessee, but other than that, we really didn't know what to expect. You know, most of the guys have, re have never really played a, a good amount of snaps at, at this level. So we got a really good feel of what, what those guys can bring to the table. I mean, I can go through every single one of them tell them and say good things about them. So, but no, we're really pleased going into the fall, and I'm excited to kind of see who, who really kind of steps up and really embraces that, that role as a starting back. Who did you think stood out today in the game? Um, yeah, in the running back room, I think probably in the running back room, probably Josh Henderson probably had the best day. I think um, you know, I didn't. Uh, I think Ty Chandler probably had a pretty good day. Uh, I didn't really pay 
a whole lot of tension in the who who had the best. I think they all had some pretty good runs here and there. But now we were over completed their performance day. And I'm really excited to get to work with those guys in the summer and kind of see how they develop in football.